Hi everyone, my name is João Diogo Falcão, and today I'll be sharing the work I've done with some colleagues of mine, Carlos Ruiz, Adiola Banis, Professor Hei Yang No, and Professor Pei Zhang, on ISICS, an in-store autonomous checkout system for retail. Well, why research into autonomous retail? The waiting line. It is such a prevalent aspect of everyday life. In fact, Americans spend roughly 37 billion hours each year waiting in line. Collectively, employed Americans reported burning 4.4 billion potential work hours per year just waiting in line. Based on the average national hourly wage, this makes the cost of wait time experienced by the U.S. population at $108 billion. Imagine gaining some of that time back to enjoy with your families. On the other hand, convenience stores face out-of-shelf stockout rates of 5 to 10%. This means that 4% of sales are lost because the products were not in the shelves for shoppers to pick, even though the store had inventory in the back. This leads to $93 billion annual losses in North America alone. Since this is such a big issue, others have looked into it. Others have automated the retail experience through self-checkout stations. This shifts the burden of scanning the products to the shopper, leading to an increased shrinkage due to intentional and unintentional theft. However, these require lower human resources on the part of the store. Another approach is to tag every product with a sensor. This approach is very accurate, but too labor-intensive to be practical. A third technique is to instrument the infrastructure with cameras and sensors. This approach is perceived to be inaccurate, but shows promise in removing the human labor. We will focus on these types of techniques. Well, isn't that what Amazon Go does? Not quite. Notice the store clerks in orange. Amazon Go stores are not unmanned, and several articles point to Amazon relying on a human in the loop. While impressive, Amazon Go stores are developed under closed doors. So, we present an open and transparent analysis of ISEX, an in-store autonomous checkout system for retail. By combining modeling of the physical elements of the store, such as the floor, shelves, and gondola locations, with modeling of people and their interactions with the store, and leveraging the knowledge of where the inventory is located, ISEX is able to automatically track the movement of products from the store to the shoppers and produce a receipt while the customer is still in the store. Here it is in action. We model the physical elements by measuring the position, rotation, and size of all static elements in the store. This gives us a 3D understanding of the store. On top of that, we model the products based on the sensed characteristics. In this case, we model based on weight. Here, we can observe that different products share similar weight distributions and that by weight alone, we would not be able to distinguish the products. Here is the system diagrams for ISICS. By leveraging the physical store model, weight sensors on the shelves, and the cameras in the ceiling, we can keep track of the inventory changes. This is done in the weight change based item prediction by combining the understanding of where each product is located on the shelves encoded in product layout model with the product weight model. ISICS further tracks every person through the cameras. It computes where each person is in every frame and then triangulates them into a 3D world. We are now just missing the interaction between people and products. For that purpose, we model the interactions which enables the spatial and temporal multiple human to multiple object matching. This is done in four steps. First, finding when and where an interaction occurred. Second, detecting the closest person. Third, looking at the motion of that person. And fourth, reviewing the past interactions of that person to see if this predicted interaction makes sense. With this block, we can now predict who picked what. Here's an example of the physical and people models in action. In the corner, we can see a 3D representation of the actions taking place. Notice that in certain angles, the hands are occluded. However, in the 3D model, 
everything is at view. In order to evaluate ISACs, we deployed it in a real operating store of 800 square feet with 1,653 unique products. We instrumented the store with 52 cameras and 58 gondolas worth of sensors. Furthermore, we ran and improved the system over the span of 13 months, having an average of 140 daily transactions ISEX achieved up to 96.4% receipt accuracy. Details on improvements performed to the system, as well as the impact of those in the accuracy, are described in the paper. We want to thank Carrefour and iFi for providing the opportunity to research in a real operating store. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email.